What's up guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to add background GUI in Roblox Studio Lite. But before we start the video, make sure you press that like button and subscribe. Now let's get started. You might have seen this type of GUI in a lot of games, but did you know that you can easily add it into your game? Let me show you how. First, we are going to get the model ID. This model was made by Forever HD team, which is why it's completely safe to use. Now, we will copy the ID and hop into Roblox Studio Lite. Okay, now you want to click on Tools box, paste the ID in, and click Get. Then wait a little bit, and you should see this folder right here. Now select this folder and click copy, then select replicate storage and click paste. Okay, you can remove this folder now. Let's open this and you will see the icon and read me. First, the icon, you can check it and read it if you want. And next is read me. Yeah, you have to read this one and now you're scrolling down and you will see the code uh, so first is local container equals script dot parent uh, meaning is referred to the parent object of this script next is local icon equals recurrent container dot icon uh, it's load the icon module located inside the container folder and down here is the icon dot new uh, is the button that we are going to edit later in the video now let's try to click play and you can see there's nothing here with this error in the output it said the require only working on your own game so let's publish this and we'll see what it looks like in the game. As you can see, there's a button at top of your screen. It says example with a heart icon. Now let's get back to Studio Light and I will show you a few things you can do. Now we are in Studio Light. Let's open Replicated Storage. Open the folder and open readme. I'm gonna clean this up because we only need the script. Let's start with the simplest thing, changing the example text to something else. And here you can see the text has changed. Let's go back and I will show you how to add more button. Let's open the folder again, open the script, click enter, and type set order. This is the first button, so I will put the number one in there. Now you're gonna do is copying this, go down here and Place. and we change the number from 1 to 2 so we now we have two button we also change the text into button 1 and the second text is button 2 now let's test you can see here this button 1 and button 2 now let me show you how to add drop down like character selector Let's open the script again and you want to type set drop down. Now click enter and then you want to copy the button up here and then go down here, press paste and then close. Now I will change the tag into drop and we will test. Now when I click this button one, it will show the drop one button and you can open and close this. Oh yeah, that's all for today guys. Thanks for 
watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And have a nice day.